So welcome everybody. This uh, this evening we'll be talking about uh, discover high probability trading returns in all markets. Uh, again, my name is Don Kaufman here, one of the co-founders of Theo Trade. Just a quick risk disclosure: we're not financial advisors nor a broker dealer. Um, the reason I mention that is I spent uh, a very large portion of my career not only in the brokerage business, building some of the technology. I'm not a software developer. I was on the trading side of things. Nevertheless, uh, a lot of the elements designed in a platform like Thinkorswim are, uh, are design implementations from myself, a couple other people also at Theotrade, which I'll discuss uh, here momentarily. But uh, that's why we throw up the risk disclosure right up front. Uh, next thing, copyright disclaimer. This is ours. This is not yours. But really, we just throw this up here because uh, we've also got our contact information. If you need to get a hold of uh, myself or anybody at Theotrade, really at any time, we use a universal inbox. It's just support at Theotrade.com. Uh, you guys will be happy to know. We answer emails. That okay? All right, we uh, we answer emails here, and we answer them relatively fast. Most emails are answered uh, within a uh, again uh, just about an hour period of time. So uh, by all means, please uh, email us from time to time. I see a lot of people chatting in where they're from. It's from Mesa, Arizona. It's hot. I'm in. Uh, by the way, I'm broadcasting this evening from Scottsdale, Arizona. Why Scottsdale? Uh, I don't know. I did my time in Chicago. I am done with Chicago. One other question that comes up, is this thing going to be recorded this evening? Of course. I have tendency to uh, to go through things rather uh, rather quickly. So uh, yes, we uh, we do record the presentation. We'll make that available to you thereafter. So uh, I love it. We've got a couple of Canadians on board tonight. Canadian engineers. <laughs> you guys are killing me. Um, by the way, answering emails at 3 a.m. Yeah, I know that sounds kind of sad, but yeah, we do answer emails <laughs> very often throughout the course of the evening. Uh, as sad as that may sound, yeah, listen, I have three little kids now. I gave up sleep. So here's a little bit about me, a little bit about my background. I'm the co-founder here of Theo Trade. Um, I grew up around trading. I guess I get this question all the time. People are like, well, where'd you learn to trade? Um, well, the truth being is I had an uncle that was a trader back in the 1970s. Um, he was an incredibly successful trader and founded a derivatives firm in Chicago that was eventually purchased uh, by UBS uh, in 1992. Well, they retired out to Paradise Valley in, uh, in Arizona. They retired out in the, uh, the mid-80s. Anyway, my family kind of followed them out here. And a few weeks out of college, I got involved in the markets. I had cousins involved in the markets. I got involved in the markets. This is in the late 90s. Um, again, I'm only in my uh, you know early 40s now, but um, that's how I got involved in the marketplace. And a short time after I was in Chicago in trading, I got invited to at the time was a was it just a no name startup firm, and it was it was called Think or Swim. You know, people are like, what the heck is a Think or Swim? Well, you know, we went on from you know when I started there, there was you know uh, 14 people, and we went on to you know. Uh, you know, eventually did uh, public, you know, offering, and at that time we had 700 people. Then eventually we went on to be acquired by TD Ameritrade. At that point, there were <laughs> there were 7,000 people, literally 7,000 people, and I actually remained um, and ran education for TD Ameritrade. For, uh, for five years before finally hanging it up and just done with the regulations in the industry, hanging it up and uh, we launched Theotrade. So that's a little bit about my trading career. And I do have about 18 years of Thinkorswim platform experience. However, I'm also really familiar with a lot of other trading applications out there in the, uh, in the industry. And, you know, I've done uh, a lot of TV tours. So uh, I just, uh, this is, you know, people ask me, you know, have you ever you know, been on CNBC? Yes, but this is the only one to me that's even memorable, uh, only because you know if you're going to be pitted against somebody, that's who you want to be pitted against, uh, especially you know it was long and short. So it's uh, if you're going to give Dish out a little bit of a beating, this is the guy you want to give it to. It's good stuff. A little bit about Theo Trade this evening before we get off and rolling. So we specialize in education, stocks, options, futures. Um, we're founded by professional traders. You know, all of us here have extensive 
trading experience, a minimum of 15 years experience, and that's specifically in trade industry experience, uh, a couple of us with uh, many decades. You know, we're here first and foremost, and you know, I'll discuss this a little bit later this evening, but you know, we're here to help you mitigate the risks. I, I you know I know a lot of people, they go to a, a ton of different sessions over time and everybody's like, come make money income. And that's absolutely what we're about. But you know, listen people, and before I even get into the presentation tonight, you work hard for whatever you've done and whatever capital you have, whether it's an IRA, whether it's a 401k, you know, whether you just funded a regular trading account, you work hard for that capital. And I'm telling you right now, we're here to learn to mitigate the risks first and foremost, okay? Secondarily, we're gonna learn a skill set that can last your lifetime. And I'm adamant about that. And I, I want people to know that right up front because this is not the, uh, you know, you know, hey, a secret squirrel stuff that we're gonna be talking about tonight. This is a definitive skill set and you need to learn, okay, just that. So a little bit about, instead of just, you know, what is a Theo trade, it's who is Theo trade? Like, and here are the Theo trade instructors. We are... We are not a, uh, what I call a, a one trick pony here at Theotrade. Um, Theotrade, this is, this is currently our lineup. So of course there's myself, okay? But we've also got Doc Severson, Stocks, Options, and Technicals. We have uh, Jeffrey Bierman. Uh, Jeff is actually a professor at uh, Loyola. He's currently a professor at Loyola, and he actually works with us a part-time. He is also the former chief market technician for TD Ameritrade. If you've ever been on, for example, the Thinkorswim charts, well, Jeff worked in my group and was actually heavily, heavily involved in the creation of many of the studies that are on the Thinkorswim uh, charts. So we're you know fairly proud to have uh, Jeff on board. Corey Rosenblum. Uh, Corey is our senior strategist, trend and swing trader. Corey's been around the industry, known him for years. Uh, Steve Slim Miller. Slim is actually one of the first people I've ever met in this industry outside of uh, my own family. 43 year veteran. He started trading on the floor of the Chicago Board Options Exchange in the okay, early 70s. Now think about that because the exchange was only founded in 73. He was there. Uh, last but definitely not least, Tony Rago. It's our intraday strategist. He's our futures guy. So we cover a wide spectrum. Okay and different genres of trading. If you're a trend trader, if you're a futures trader, you know, if you're an options guy, if you're a technicals person, okay, again, swing, trend, you name it, we have somebody specifically, we even have, okay, kind of our in-house psychologist is uh, is Doc Severson. So to help you with the, uh, the mindset, of course, of trading. And that's a little bit of background on our instructors. Now, let's get right down to it, all right? And I said, let's get to it. You know, what are we gonna learn tonight? how to sell options premium in the current market environment. You know, again, you know, people circle that wagon all the time. They, you know, I wanna learn, I wanna learn, sell, sell premium, sell premium. We're gonna learn what that means. Stop, stop trying to pick direction and start using a market neutral strategy so you can sleep at night. How and where and when you can find Edge's retail. So I'm gonna talk about where Edge will lie right now. And we're gonna look at a little bit of high probability trades while learning uh, what I would call uh, very, very seldom do people understand uh, how not to take large losses with high probability trades. And I'm gonna discuss that in some extent tonight. Um, products that are gonna make the most viable candidates, okay, and which products, of course, are a recipe for disaster. And again, we're also gonna talk about how to sell options in high volatility or low volatility without, per se, accumulating more risk. So that's what we're gonna be talking about this night. And it's a, uh, hey, listen, it's a fairly large number of items to go through. So let's get into it. Um, everybody's good. Excellent. Learning to sell options. So you kind of hear this through the grapevine. And by the way, it, you know, I know that a, a lot of people, it, you know, a lot of people will, will tune into this and a lot of people will also listen to this, you know, an archive presentation, but you know, you kind of have to be able to answer these questions as I go through here, answer the questions, you know, either in your head verbally or feel free to chat in. If you are actually watching this kind of live, uh, please, by all means, feel free to, uh, to chat in live. But you know, you kind of hear through the grapevine that, you know, selling options is the way to make money. But if you've kind of experimented with selling options, Okay. And, and just out of curiosity, how many people have done that experiment of selling options, you know, full well, okay. There's definitely risk involved. Now today's session, we kind of separate the myths from the real risks and the fact from the fiction. 
So that's one thing I try to bring to the table here at Theo Trade consistently. It's literally, you know, let's let's separate the crap from what's real. And I, I'm sorry to be so blatant about it, but when you've been in this industry as long as I have, hey, come on, you've seen everything. And people are like, follow the bouncing ball and red and green flashing arrows. And listen, that's that's not trading, okay? That's not trading. This, we got to separate fact from fiction. You got to know, all right, if you're going to sell options premium, what those risks are, what's real and what's not. So... Next thing I want to talk about, okay, and, I, and please, it, by all means, chat in because it's important to me that we kind of, you know, get on board and everybody's like, yeah, I get it. So uh, the next thing I want to cover is, you know, don't panic because you can do this because anybody can do this. Now, there's some people that are going to be joining us and always do join us that literally know nothing about options. Hmm? How many people here have absolutely no options experience? Come on, people admitting it's the first step tonight. So you've got no options experience. Okay, for starters, listen, don't worry about the nuances of trading options. Don't worry about that. That comes. Like learning a little bit about options, there's some vernacular, right? There's vocabulary. You're like, it's a call, it's a put, it's this, it's that. Forget about it. Forget about it for tonight because that's something that will come over time. The vernacular comes over time. What I want you to grasp, if you're brand new tonight, just grasp big concepts regarding probability and risk. So let's dive in, okay? And those of you, those of you that have some experience, what are you gonna grasp? Well, you're gonna be able to grasp some of the, the really finite details. I try, in any given presentation that I do, okay, I try to give everybody a, a very wide spectrum from the absolute basics into some of the extreme. And I try to cover a lot of that tonight. So for those of you that are brand new, there's portions of this that are gonna go a little bit over your head, but that's okay, grasp big concepts. For those of you that are experienced, okay, you're gonna sit there and be like, ah, I know this. Yeah, until we get to the extremes of this. All right, let's get, uh, let's get rolling. Probability and profitability, okay? What does that mean? Well, your trading is based on probability, right? You and I, you can create trades all day long with a 90% probability of success, but you can still lose money. Now, probability alone does not make you profitable. Remember that. Now, the reason that I say that is the marketplace is infatuated with being what? Right. And probability kind of implies you're like, I am right. How often are you right? I am right 90% of the time. And I'm like, oh, well, that doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean anything. And you're like, well, how could that not mean anything? Because let me ask you something. What's going to happen to you, all right, the other 10% of the time? I like to draw on the screen too, so just get to know that about me. But it, what's going to happen to the other 10% of the time? Like how severe are the losses going to be? Because in the end, it's not about being right. That's what the entire marketplace gets you to believe, Right? And I, I hope that everybody understands that, that even if you're brand new to this, right, you can go, and I'm, I'm deadly serious about this because I've been in this industry for enough years that if I, if I sound like, you know, I'm like, oh, beating you up about this. I've been in the industry enough years to know that people will shop around for some website that's like, look, look at our track record. We are right 85% of the time. Well, my argument is this. You could hire a monkey to be right 85% of the time. Why? Because when you start to understand options, you just create trades that have like an 85% probability or greater. But that doesn't mean that you're going to make money because the other 15% of the time when you're wrong, okay, you can lose more than the other 85% of the time when you're right. And that's, it's important. Now, markets are always gonna be a trade-off. Everything's a series of trade-offs. Higher probability is equivalent, it equals higher risk. Okay. You can be right 90% of the time, still lose money. So where can you find edge? I mean, that's what people are here for, all right? So great, let's you know get ready because I'm gonna show you something. Well, I'm gonna show you a number of things that are very, very important. Let's start with discovering probability and premium selling tactics, right? Discovering probability and premium selling tactics. What does this amount to? So, you know, anytime I talk about markets, I I like to look at markets as a distribution, okay? It's a distribution. Now, whether that's that's true, that I don't wanna argue about that tonight, but what I want you to look at the market is, you go, okay, you have the stock, and the stock is trading right at 100, and if you've ever tuned into a presentation, 
Okay. All right. How many people here tonight, and there's a lot of people joining us, but how many people here tonight are brand new? You've never heard us do a presentation before here at Theotrade. Anybody? Come on. People admitting it is the, uh, the first step. Hmm. All right. So a couple of people brand new. Well, in every example, I call stock, not stock, but I call it stock, right? Because I like that as an example. It just works for me. So stock. So you have a stock trading at 100. And for those of you, if you've never, 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 never traded an option before, let me let me take you through some absolute basics okay, of these options. So if you have a stock and the stock is trading right at 100, you could look at something called a 105, okay? That's a 105 call. Now, what is a 105 call? And we're gonna say that the 105 call equals, okay, a dollar. So the 105 call costs a dollar. What is a 105 call? Now, again, we're gonna assume that you have no experience and then we're gonna take this into a bit of the extremes for the people that do have experience. All right, so 105 call, it would give you the right to buy, the right to buy the what? The stock at 105. Do I own the stock? No. So why do I have the 105 call? If I buy the 105 call, and let's assume that we buy it, okay? If we turn around and we buy this 105 call, what do we have the right to do? We have the right to buy the stock at what? 105. But if you buy that, you're gonna pay a dollar. What does the dollar give you? Okay, it gives you one month of time. Let's just say it's a month. Why a month? I don't know. It's a buck. It's not that much. So what do you need to have happen to this stock inside of the month? You need that stock to go where? Up. Up to 105? No, not to 105. You need to go further. Okay. You need that thing to leapfrog even further. Why? Because you need it at 105. Just what? But you have the right to buy the stock at 105. What do you want to buy the stock at? 105 or 105? And you're like, yes. No, you already paid a buck for that thing. You paid a dollar for it. So now you don't need to go 105. You needed to go to at least 106. So the question that you have in this case, right? You need that thing at 106 just to be able to do what? You tell me, okay? You tell me. You need that thing to go to 106 just to be able to do what? Okay, break even. I See, I have a better word than break even. I call it getting your money back. You need it to go to 106 just to get your money back, right? Plus transaction costs. So you got to love transaction costs. What do you think the probability of that occurring is? All right? Let's say it's about 30%. So you have a 30% chance of it going up there. Now, you can define probability in a number of different ways. In this case, I'm just ballparking it. It's about a 30% chance of you getting your money back. Now, if you think about this, buying a 105 call, you don't have to ever buy the stock. You just have the right to buy the stock at 105. If, if, let's say the stock went from 100 and shot all the way up to 110. So it goes from 100 straight to 110. What's a 105 call worth with the stock trading at 110? Well, if you have the right to buy the stock at 105, you could buy the stock at 105. Everybody else in the world would have to pay 110. If you have the right to buy the stock at 105, the rest of the world has to pay 110. Okay, that option is going to be worth at least, at least $5. Okay? But you paid a buck up front. So what are you really making? About $4. Okay. Now that's buying the 105 call. Now, again, starting with some basics over here. Now, let's once again, let's look at this 105 call. Now, let's not buy it. Let's assume we can sell it. Now, what's this thing trading for? Well, it's still trading for the same dollar, but we're now we're going to sell it. And you go, wait a second. Whoa, 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 back up. I don't ever remember buying it. We're just going out and we're selling it. You don't necessarily have to what, okay? You don't have to own something to sell something in options, okay? That's a 105 call. And that 105 call, what does it give you the right to do? Well, you sold it. You don't have rights. Now you have obligations, okay? Someone has the right to buy stock from you at 105. You sell yourself into an obligation. That's why they call them contracts. I mean, what is a contract? It's an agreement between a couple of individuals. Great. Well, guess what? For every option buyer, there's an option seller. You can be on either side of the contract, right? You can be a buyer or a seller. In this case, you've sold a 105 call. Now, what do you get to collect? You're like, I collect a dollar, okay? What's the maximum you can make? A dollar. Like, wait, I can't make any more than a dollar? No, you can't make any more than a dollar. You sold something for a dollar. Nobody's gonna come back a week later and go, that thing was awesome. 
Oh, I love the call you sold me. You love it. I'm going to give you an extra buck. Now, that's not going to happen. You sold it for a buck. Why did you sell it for a buck? Because there's a pretty high probability of what? Well, what do you have to have happen for you to lose money? If you sell a 105 call, what do you want to have happen to the stock? Okay. Well, if the stock stays at 100, that 105 call, remember, is good for a period of a month. So one month equals your 105 call. So if the stock stays flat, okay, that dollar starts to what? Starts to bleed value out. After like a week, it's not worth a dollar anymore. Then it's only worth 80 cents. And that, you know, after two weeks, all of a sudden it drops to 50 cents. And before you know it, that dollar is worth next to nothing. If the stock stays flat, if the stock goes down, you're fine. Nobody wants the right to buy the stock at 105 when the stock is trading at 95. And even if the stock goes up, even if the stock goes up, and let's say that stock goes to 103, if the stock goes to 103, you'd be like, oh, bestiddle my heart. But you know what? You still get to keep your dollar. When do you start to lose money? Well, above 105, you're going to start, you know, the heart stops thumping. You're like, oh, oh, oh I'm going to get sick. But your break-even point is 106. And there's a fairly high probability in this trade. Why is there a fairly high probability in this trade? Well, again, if you take a look at this 105 call, okay, what can happen? The stock can go down, you make money. How much do you make? A dollar. The stock can stay flat. How much do you make? A dollar. The stock can go up. It can even go up five bucks. What do you make? A dollar. Even if the stock gets to 106, at that point, you've at least broken even. All right. But can the stock go from 100 and go clear to 120? And of course it can. It's a stock. So what we could effectively do in this particular case, all right, is we can sell the 105 call. All right. We can sell the 105 call. We could turn around and buy, in this case, a 110 call. And that's what they call a spread. All I'm doing is hedging my risk. Now, this is just, again, some of the, the finite details, a little bit of a nuance of what they call selling options premium. Now, if you sell a 105 call, and that says sell 105 call, it's ugly, ugly writing over here. But if you sell a 105 call, you're obligated to give somebody stock at 105. But if you buy a 110 call, you have the right to buy the stock from somebody else at 110. So what's the worst that can happen to you? The stock goes from 100 and let's say shoots all the way to 150. What's the worst that can happen to you? Well, you have to give somebody stock at 105, but you have the right to buy the stock at 110. What's the most you could possibly lose? All right. Well, you couldn't lose more than $5. Okay. Now you wouldn't do this trade and lose a full $5 because you would collect something in doing this trade. The other aspect in this trade is because you sold out of the money options, because these things are so far away from the stock price, that creates a higher probability trade. Now, there's one last nuance in this that I want you guys just to understand conceptually. Okay. And this is the sale of the 105 call. Okay, and we're going to buy a 110 call. What do I want you to understand? Okay, is that if the stock starts to go up, what does it take for a stock to go up? Well, it takes buyers. What else does it take? Okay, it takes time. And the time it takes for the stock to move, these options literally start to decay immediately after selling them. So, time, all right time can really be your best friend when you're selling out of the money options. And that's, it's an important concept that's overlooked. The whole question though, the whole question of this is how much time do you need to sell in these options? I'm actually going to answer some of that this evening is that people have a vast misconception of what options they should be effectively selling. Okay. And they don't prototypically sell the correct options. So let's get a little bit into decay. <coughs> Selling options equals positive time decay. <coughs> Excuse me. When you sell options, every day passing sees the dwindling of options premium. And as time passes, the options you sold decay exponentially. Let's take just a quick moment to review time decay because I'm leading you down a very interesting road. So what you'll find out is that 
<clears throat> this is how options decay. And the, the faster the option decays, the closer you are to expiration. It kind of goes exponential. Like as you start getting close to expiration, you're like, yeah, I'm going to sell me some options and then I'm going to feel the burn and, and things are going to be, you know, absolutely wonderful. But is that, is that necessarily viable? Well, we're going to find out because when you sell an option right close to expiration, it could be taking drastic risks. Just foreshadowing a little bit. Now, now we're going to talk about high probability iron condors. Now, this is a strategy that many, many people have experimented with. Many people may have been involved with, but we walk you through some of the basics. The whole key to the iron condor is not the strategy. I want to make this clear before I even get into it, you know, because some people are brand new here tonight and they're like, ooh, an iron condor. Please, come on, you guys, come, you can go Google. There's 10,000 sites that'll show you what an iron condor is, okay? But the way you make money in an iron condor, okay, isn't understanding an iron condor. It's understanding the right options to use, the right expirations, how to manage the risk in the trade. Everything about the iron condor is about the management of the trade and initiating the trade with the right criteria. And you're going to hear me use that term a, a tremendous amount. Whenever I trade, I talk about criteria and criteria effectively means, and, and, and by the way, yeah, there's literally 10,000 different pages like, oh, this is an iron, this is an iron, this is an iron, but people don't get it. Like, and when I say people don't get it, listen, I worked, okay, at the largest options firm on the street for 15 years. Nobody traded more retail options than Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade. That's still true to this day. Nobody trades more options. And we studied account after account after account. And a lot of the criteria that I will discuss this evening, what is criteria? It's a recipe book. It's a recipe of how to get in and out of the trade. A lot of the criteria comes from so many of the pitfalls. I think you guys will appreciate this. So we walk through some of the basics. Iron condors are by definition option spreads where we receive a credit balance in the initial transaction. Iron condors are also defined risk trades. That means you're going to know precisely the risk and reward prior to ever placing any trade. Irons allow traders to dial in probabilities. That means if you want an 80% probability of success, you're going to know exactly what options to use. I'm going to show you that here momentarily. Okay. Now, this is the many facets of iron condors. Iron condors, they can be referred to in a number of ways, okay? It's a lot of times, you know, around the campfire, you'd be like, oh, this is selling premium. Yeah, but it's also credit spreads. Credit spreads and iron condors, yeah, it's the same animal. <laughs> um, short call spreads, short put spreads, same animal, and delta neutral trading. You know, that's that's a really fancy one. People, you can go to like different websites and they're like, yeah, we do uh, we do some uh, some of that damn dare uh, delta neutral uh, trading. And I'm like, oh, come on. It's so an iron condor is a form of delta neutral trading. Iron condors can actually be used to create bullish, bearish, or market neutral. Most likely, they're actually considered market neutral. All right? Why are they considered market neutral? Well, let's get down to the structure of the beast. All right? The iron condor. By the way, people always ask me, why is it called an iron condor? Real quick, what's a condor? It's a large winged bird. Well, there's butterfly spreads that has little wings because it's a butterfly. Literally, like if you think of butterfly, it's smaller. Then you think of like what? A condor or condor? It's a, uh, it's a big beast, right? Maybe you think of like a pterodactyl. That does it for me. Uh, and then iron. You know what iron means? Calls and puts. So it means calls and puts, big wing spread. <laughs> I'm dead serious. That's what it means. All right? Calls and puts, big winged spread. It's an iron pterodactyl. Anyway, this is the curve. This is the curve again. What the iron condor is. Just a moment ago, we talked about selling, all right, this, this 105 call. And, you know, and the stock is trading right, for instance, at 100. Now, we don't own stock. We have nothing to do with the stock. We have never traded the stock. We're just going to sell a 105 call. But simultaneously, we're going to sell a 95 put. Now, some people are like, you, you never even talked about a put. Well, okay, a put gives you what? The right to sell but we're selling a 95 put. All I'm doing, okay, here, this is all I'm doing. I'm selling out of the money junk here and I'm selling out of the money junk here. Why? Because I think we're gonna stay here. 
Think about that. That's it. And then, and then I have to buy other options to hedge off the options that I sold. Why? Just in case we don't stay in this range, right? If the, if the stock expires between the short strikes to keep the credits, that's it. Okay. But what happens if the stock goes down here? Ah, what happens if the stock goes up here? Ah, you know, there's answers for that. That's what management of this strategy is really about. Now let's go a little deeper. Go a little bit deeper. This is an iron condor position. So now we have a stock trading at 200. Stock is at 200. We're going to sell a 220, 225 call spread. Now, what stock could be at 200? Okay, I don't know. Call it Apple. It's close enough. All right, call it uh, call it Costco. I mean, come on, I can come up with 50 different stocks trading very, very close to that. And let's say I go out and sell a 220 call. Now, selling a 220 call. All right, and buying a 225 call. Now, I need to know this, so you, you gotta answer this. How wide is that spread? How wide is that spread? That, people, is a $5 wide spread, of which I collected 50 cents up front, All right? It's $5 wide spread, I collected 50 cents up front. How much could I lose? How much could I lose? You need to know, you need to know right now. If it's a $5 wide spread, you collect 50 cents up front, you can't lose more than $4.50, period. Got it? Get it? Good. That's important because there's more to this. Simultaneously, all right, simultaneously, I'm going to be selling a 180, 175 put spread, okay? And I'm actually doing both these transactions at identical times. This is not do this, then do this. This is a package. All four legs are traded at once. And everybody goes, what about commissions? It's okay. You know, the commissions, we have deals with brokerage firms. We can talk. All right, you threw that a little bit because you know what? You're right. It's four legs, four legs, four commissions. You're like, I don't like it. That's okay. We'll help you through the commission side of it. You know, 15 years in the brokerage industry. Yeah, I've worked that angle in every way, shape or form. We will save you drastically on commissions to be discussed later. Now, with this particular strategy. So now I'm also selling a put spread. So what do I want the stock to do? Well, as I said earlier, Okay, I want the stock to stay between 220 and 180. And for that, I collect 50 cents on this little monkey and 50 cents on this little monkey. Okay, but, 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 hold on. Okay, what happens to be the probability in this trade? What's the probability in this trade? Well, I'd already kind of answered the question, but I'm going to take you through this. So it's a $1 credit. How do I get a $1 credit? I have 50 cents that I collected here and 50 cents here equals a $1 credit. So how much total risk though do you have? Now this one's critically important. How much risk do you have? Well, you can lose $5 here, right? And you can lose $5 here. So how much risk do you have? Anybody, 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 anybody? Hmm? Hmm? Okay. If you can risk five here and you can risk five here, how much can you lose? Okay. Hmm. Looking for the answers. Okay. Well, you can only lose $5 and you're like, what? You can only lose five bucks, minus, of course, the credit you received up front, but I'll come to that. How can you only lose $5? Because this is a stock. The stock could be up above this spread, or the stock could be down below this spread, but the stock can't be up and down simultaneously. If this trade is placed as a package, you can only lose on one side of the trade or the other. You cannot, in fact, lose on both sides of the trade. So that's, you know, that's important. Why? It's important to identify precisely what the risk is. The real risk in the trade, it's called real risk, is $4. How do you get $4? You have a $5 wide spread and a $5 wide spread. You can only lose on one side of it. So your risk is $5. Of course, you collected the dollar up front. So what we call our definitive out-of-pocket risk or our real risk is $4. Just take $4 divided by the, what we call the total risk, which is $5, so the width of one of the spreads. It's an 80% probability of success. We even have break-even points listed in here. Now, the first time you go through this, you're like, what, what, what? <laughs> it goes quick. It's okay. I just want you to grasp the concepts, right? What's the concept? The concept is a very simple one. Did you know you could figure out probability from the credit you received in any spread? Because the credit you receive in the spread defines the probability in any given trade. It's like working through odds defines the probability. All right. We ready to move forward? Are we, are we having fun yet? Okay. Because now, people, let's just do a real one. Let's do an iron condor, but let's do it in the spiders. And I'm telling you right now, you know, I, you know one of the things I told you is, I told you how to get a little bit of edge in the market. We're going to cover that in a moment. Okay. But I also told you some of the candidates. Now, 
for tonight, to keep this simple, to keep this simple tonight, I'm going to use the spiders. Could we use the SPX? Of course. Okay. I mean, I can go through candidate after candidate after candidate, but I want to use the spiders. I want to use the spiders because I think that it is, it is a softer, gentler way to really learn this business. And what we're going to do in the spiders, okay, the spiders are trading right at about 275. And for those of you, if you're unaware, all right, if you're unaware, we can bring up, you know, the real spiders. And you're like, well, what do you mean? What, 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 what are the real spiders? Okay, here, because this is, this is the spiders. And the spiders, are, they close today. They close today right at 275.10. 275.10. And well, we're going to build a little bit of a trade in the spiders and I'm just going to go through this conceptually and then I'm actually going to show you the real trade. I built one for tonight's presentation. We're going to sell out of the money junk out here and we're going to sell out of the money junk out here. Okay. And then we're going to hope that we stay relatively range bound for how long. Okay. We're only going to have to stay range bound for about 30 days. Only stay range bound for about 30 days. And this, this is the one though that's, it's going to shock you when I show you this. And again, even those of you that are experienced, you're like, oh, I've seen this movie before. He's going to sell an iron condor 30 days out. No, no, I am not. Let's get to the trade. Okay. Before getting right to the trade, we got to discuss probability of success. Calculator your iron's probability of success. Take the real risk on the iron divided by the total width of one of the spreads. The probability calculation details are as follows. Now, I'm going to throw the entire trade in front of you and then we're going to walk you through it. Okay, here we go. This is an iron condor. Now, I've already built this iron condor and I'm actually going to take you into this iron condor specifically on a trading application. Then I'm going to walk you through the probability calculation. So. Everybody bear with me here momentarily. So I've already built the trade. Now, one of the first things that I want to point out in this trade, I know a lot of people are like, I'm going to copy this one down. I'm copying it feverishly. I get it. That's cool. Go ahead. Copy it. Okay. But I will tell you this, you're copying down the trade and that's fine. And this trade may make, you know, some money. However, it's the management of this trade. It's the criteria behind the creation of the trade. Okay, where money can be made over time. Just because this one position may or may not make capital doesn't define you as a trader. You're going to have to learn okay, to use this okay, sequentially to create income off of it. You can't just put on one iron condor and be like, yeah, I made money. Okay, Here, we have a product. All right, and I say a product. We have the spiders and the spiders is trading right around this, this one, or sorry, apologize, 275 level. We're going to sell, all right, we're going to sell options out here. Now, I'm actually going to make this even easier to see the risk graph up top, okay? This is the risk graph. This is currently where we're at. So I'm going to go out and here's where the market currently is, right at 275. I'm going to go out and sell a call. Which call am I selling? I'm selling the 288 call. So I'm out here and I'm selling, okay? the 288 call that I'm turning around and buying the what, right? In this particular case, I'm buying the 293s. So I'm selling a 288, buying a 293. Got it? Cool. All right. Then I am simultaneously selling a put spread. Which put spread am I selling? Okay. Well, I'm selling, in this case, the 262 puts. And then I'm turning around and buying, this is all done at the same time, okay, the 257s, just like you're seeing down below. The entire trade, the entire position is a net $1 credit. So it's a $1 credit. Now, how much risk do I have up here? Well, this is a $5 wide spread. How much risk do you have in a $5 wide spread? You have $5 of risk, okay? How much risk do you have in the spread down here? Well, this is a $5 wide spread. So. What's the risk in a $5 wide spread? $5, right? So you have $5 of risk. How do you figure out the probability in here? Well, now you have to figure out what is the real risk. The real risk, okay, is what? It's the width of one of these spreads. So it's $5 minus that credit received. So how much real definitive out-of-pocket risk do you have? All right, and we're going to call this 
real risk equals four bucks. The real risk is four bucks. Okay. Now it's $4 of real risk. Divide that by the width of one of these spreads. Four divided by five equals approximately 80%. Now that is the short and dirty methodology to be able to figure out probability. And that is precisely what I did in this particular slide. The total risk is just the width of one of these spreads. The real risk is the total you can actually lose. The real risk is the width of the spread minus the credit received. The probability is real risk divided by width of the spread. And it's the first time you've gone through this, you're like, I just blew up. You know, the, the, the ahead, you know, the brain is like a piece of Tupperware and sometimes it gets a little bit too full, right? And the first time you see this, but I'm going to tell you the probability, here's what criteria does for you. What criteria is, I'll tell you exactly what probability to dial into. I'll tell you actually exactly what month. Now, when people see this, they see the August iron condor. Now, let's stop for a second. This iron condor is out in the month of August, right? Do I have to wait all the way to August expiration to make a dollar? Yeah, I guess I, I would have to wait to make a dollar. Like a dollar is not very much, okay? Listen, you don't have to do one contract, do 10 contracts, do a thousand contracts. I mean, that's up to you. Don't fixate on the dollar. And the other thing that people fixate on is, is this. Okay, here's what a lot of people fixate on. You're collecting a dollar. How much can you lose? Four bucks. You could lose four dollars in this trade. You're like, are you crazy? Oh, well, how about if I told you? Okay, I can alleviate a lot of that four dollars of risk. I can alleviate a lot of the four dollars risk. Let me show you. Okay, first of all, why sell options so far out in time? You may have noticed in my example, I sold options out in the August expiration for what we call duration. Typically, traders sell shorter dated options. Let me tell you, tell you something huge about here. In the shorter dated options, you ain't got no edge. You're going to get killed. People constantly, they're either getting this wrong. They've been getting it wrong for years. We are in lower, we are in lower volatility climate now for many, many years. The longer dated options are going to give you more juice to sell. But then people turn around and they go, but, but. I don't want to hold the position between now and August to make a dollar. I didn't have to say that. I mean, you don't have to hold the position. But I want you to know therein lies why you're tuning into this webcast, okay? Because the specific criteria is, is such critical importance. Let me show you what you can actually do. So first of all, here's the trade, all right? Here's the trade that we just laid out. And I'm going to lay it out one more time. And I'm actually going to go back for just a moment to the trading application. I want you to see something. We have absolutely absolutely zero intent of holding this trade okay to the august expiration we're actually going to hold this trade for a rather short period of time and we're not going to make the full dollar okay what i'm going to do is is it okay if i can make maybe 50 percent now remember i don't have to do this in the spiders i could do this in the spx which is a 2000 $750 product. Because if you're worried about commissions, you trade the SPX. Why? Because the SPX is literally 10 times the size of the spiders. Now, you're going to ask, how can you make 50% of the dollar in just a few weeks? Let me show you. What are the August options worth? Okay. What are these August options worth just a few weeks from now? How could we find that out? Well, what I want to teach you is a very, very simple idea. Here's the August options, okay? I want to know, these options are 73 days out and sweating for 73 days seems horrific. I want to know what these options are worth, not with 73 days. I want to know what the exact same options are worth when there's only 45 days left. How could I figure that out? Hmm? How could I figure it out? I have options that are for 73 days. I want to know what they're worth with 45 days. Well, I'm going to give you an answer. All you have to do is change the expiration to the July 20th Okay, unlock this little lock. The options will be worth 47 cents. That's how you can make, and again, that's how you can make 50% in a very short period of time. Now, I'm assuming that the stock doesn't move much, but this is all in the criteria for this. So you have these 73-day options. I mean, we're not even waiting 30 days. 
You don't have to wait 73 days. You're not even waiting 30 days and you've already made 50% on the trade. So the funny thing is, okay, in the midst of a lower volatility market, there's actually decent premium to sell, but you have to go further out in time. Further out in time has more volatility than some of the shorter duration options. That's what people miss. That's what criteria is about, okay? The last thing I'm gonna teach you about this, this particular iron is that this iron condor, if you've never traded an iron condor, okay? And, and again, how many people have never ever traded an iron condor? Because some people understand options, but some people have never traded an iron. Hey, feel free to be like, hey, I've never traded one of these things. It's okay, all right? Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you the whole lowdown about the iron condor. First of all, we'll help you in selection, of course, of the strikes. Like, how did I know to use the 288s? How did I know to use the 262s? It had to do with probability. But the iron condor, if you've never traded one before, really, if you've never traded this, it becomes like one of the more schizophrenic trades. Why is it a schizophrenic trade? Because you're used to being like, I'm so bullish, I'm so bearish, I'm so bullish, I'm bearish. You know, you're like, oh, I hope the market goes up or I hope the market goes down. With this strategy, where do you want the market to go? The way I've set it up, where do you want the market to go? If we go up, you're going to, you know, like, oh, no. If we go up, you're going to be panicking, right? The higher we go, you're like, no, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. And then we go, oh, okay, we back down, we back down, we back down. You're like, oh, I'm happy again. And then we go down, you're like, no, 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 Don't go down, don't go down. I mean, I used to call this trade like the Prozac pack because it would literally drive people crazy. They'd be calling up, you know, the trade desk and they'd just be like, oh, I can't take it anymore. We go up, I go down. But the management of this becomes much more simplified, right? If and when you know how to put the trade on, if and when you know how to exit it properly. Now that's that's the key to this, okay? The 80% probability and the 20% hammer. 80% sounds great, but 20% of the time, the market rips your face off. And if you've never heard that term, you just haven't traded long enough. When you trade high probability strategies and you're wrong, you get hammered. You just get absolutely hammered and the market is just evil enough, just evil enough to allow you to make money three or four times. Then you increase your contract size, right? Once you're comfortable and the market knows what scares you, you know, you do this three or four times, you're like, come on, come on. You increase your contract size, then ooh, train wreck. And then your losses are going to exceed the gains on the previous three trades. Now, how many people have ever done that movie before? And this is where I say, I know, I know, it's like I can see your account. For the previous 15 years, I could see your account. I've studied over seven million accounts. We used to study accounts and like, who does iron condors? What are they doing right? What are they doing wrong? This stuff is critically important, okay? You gotta know, oh, I can fix it. I know I can fix it. Fix is a really dirty word in trading. 15 years in the brokerage business, okay? I'm a total cynic when it comes to just that. You know, regarding good trades gone bad. And anytime you're fixing a, a trade, you're adding more risk to an already losing position, racking up transaction costs. Sure, some fixes may work, but the very notion of fixing a trade throws good capital after bad. We can actually show you how not to be out there doing crazy things, how not to be fixing a trade. I mean, fixing a trade, do you know, like it's analogous to, it's analogous to the idea of like, hey, take a car, Drive it off a cliff and then bring it to a body shop. That's what fixing a trade. Like if you, if you come to me and like, oh, can you fix this thing? No, we're actually going to show you the right criteria. So you don't have to go out per se and fix the trade, how to actually put these things on sequentially. The body shop will tell you the same thing I'm about, you know, about the car and that I'm going to say about your trade. It's a losing trade. It's a piece of junk. Let it go. You got to learn to do this right. You got to learn the correct, okay, trades, good trades gone bad. Good trades gone bad is going to happen. Right? You're going to learn the correct entrance. So those good trades gone bad are not per se going to leave you with an absolute train wreck. And it's so important. And again, how many people have ever been through this in iron condors? And when I say how many people have ever been through this, I mean, how many people have ever opened an iron condor and you make money and you open an iron condor and you make money and you open an iron condor and you make money. It always waits to the fourth one. It has to wait to the fourth one. Okay. For those of you that are very unlucky, it waits to the eighth one. You can't trade that way. You can't, you know, just put one on and be like, oh, I'm going to pray. What's, what's your, what's your strategy? Prayer. Prayer is not a strategy. Okay. And I got to tell you something, you know, you've been there 
and you've done that, okay? So many of you tuning in, especially, you know, you're tuning in this evening, you've been through the gauntlet of paid classes. You've been through the gauntlet of indicators, the secret squirrel black boxes. Everybody's got, oh, I got red and green flashing arrows and it's a sweet, you know, secret squirrel black box and more. And only to find, just buy this one last thing. It'll make all the difference. But wait, there's more. You get sold another indicator, okay, okay. We've had enough of this. It's what we call educational garbage and sales pitches and we're gonna to intend to put an end to it. Again, you wanna learn the right way to do this stuff. Like to learn to sell duration iron condors and how to control your risks the right way? Well, let's discuss a little bit about criteria. This is what we do at Theotrade is we build recipes in trading, okay? Trading is always gonna be about answering the what ifs, all right? It's, it's not about, again, I know people are looking for like, eh, it's just the one, just one more indicator. Just, just sell me an indicator so it'll work. Okay. Nobody sells indicators that understands this business. I want you guys to know that nobody sells software indicators that understands this business. You won't find it, right? Because it doesn't exist. You need to know what might be a good stock and an ETF candidate for you to sell iron condor on. What's the correct options expiration cycle? to sell your iron. I just showed you August, okay? But how much capital do you commit to generating premium? What strike option prices do you sell? What strikes do you buy? This is the answer to the questions. That's what Theo Trade does. What's the right probability for the trade? We'll answer that. How many option contracts do you trade for your account size? Okay. When do you close your iron condors? What if the stock sells off big? Do you bail out of the iron? What happens if it rallies massively? Can you fix a losing trade? We'll answer all of it. We have the answer to all the trade related questions. And we build like a recipe. Literally, when I say a recipe, it's step one, boom, step two, and checklist for each strategy and all the different variables that you're going to encounter. What can happen to you in a market? All right. We can go up, we can go down. This is what I call the how, when, why, at what price. Earnings are approaching. What do you do? Well, the spiders don't have earnings, okay? Can you sell options without ever earning the stock? Of course you can. Can you do this in an IRA? Yeah, you can do it in a retirement account. It's just the beginning of the, the variables you're going to face when selling high probability iron condors, okay? The secret, it's in the sauce. Now, as I said, you can, you can go and Google this and what is an iron condor? And you're going to find 10,000 different sites, literally thousands of different sites in iron condors. But the strategy means nothing. It's all about the corresponding criteria. And we spent 20 years fine-tuning this particular trade setup and criteria. And that's what criteria is about following steps, right? You want the criteria to the duration iron condor. Well, we have a course in this, okay? And this, I'm gonna spend a little bit of time tonight and I wanna explain because we're going to do something this evening, okay? That nobody in this industry has done before. As I was saying, we've gotten to the point where everybody out there, I got an indicator, I got another class, I got another class. We have had enough of it, okay? And I'm gonna show you precisely what that means. Bear with me here for just a moment. I am going to do a live class, and I'm gonna do a live class this Saturday, June 9th, okay? From 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern time, that's nine to 12 noon, okay? The class is called Duration Iron Condors, an income strategy for all markets. I'll be the instructor for that. Now the class is going to be archived immediately. The slide deck that includes all the entrance and exit criteria will be available, okay, for download. The second we start the class, we allow you, boom, you download all of the criteria. It's literally a checklist. But the course is only part of what we now call Total Theo Unlimited Monthly Streaming Membership. This is, it's again, if you've ever tuned into a presentation that we've done before, well, guess what? You've never tuned into what we're about to show you, okay? This is all you can eat membership. Let me first tell you a little bit more about the class, okay? First of all, it's $99, that's it. And you're like, well, 99 bucks, and that ain't bad to learn to do this the right way. But there's gonna be a lot more to it. So again, bear with me here. If you check out theotrade.com forward slash all, okay? That web address, go to it right now because we're going to reference it in just a moment. Go to it. This membership also qualifies you for a reduced commissions rate. 
The best commissions rate we have going right now happens to be specifically at TD Ameritrade. I am prohibited from giving you that, but you can ask, you can ask how much that rate is within the chat room, but just hang on just a second. So the first thing that I want you to recognize, I'm going to do a live class this Saturday, but we have what we call Total Theo Unlimited Monthly Streaming Membership, and I'm going to explain that in just a moment. First of all, again, if you go to theotrade.com forward slash all, you'll see this is specifically what we're going to cover in the class this Saturday. But I don't want you to think you're paying, I do not want you to think that you're paying $99 for the class because you're not, because there is substantially more, like it's that's an understatement, okay? The class itself, you're gonna be learning about the iron condor strategy from a very unique perspective. Okay? You're going to discover how to actually dial in probabilities, but it's also going to be coupled with proper capital allocation, and that can be the defining factor in building profitability. We're going to learn to take directional bias out of the equation, and then we get into the criteria, step-by-step -step directions, nothing left to the imagination. How and where you can find edge as a trader, as specifically as a retail trader, and a lot of that has to do with selling a little bit further out in time, accounts of all sizes. I don't care if you have a $2,000 account, a $2 million account, you can sell iron condors, right? And the key, okay, to long-term traders is risk management. It's a big portion of this class, right? Again, you got to learn how to do this in all markets. Now, as I kind of alluded to a moment ago, this class is only one portion Okay, of what we are now calling, okay, really Theo Trade Unlimited Streaming. We're intent on disrupting financial education. We're built by professional traders with a minimum of 15 years experience, not professional salespeople. Educating you, it's our only goal. And I'm going to demonstrate that right now because you're going to be a little shocked in what you're about to see. Today, we're going to try to forever change the way that you view education. So we're introducing right now, Total Theo. It's unlimited streaming monthly membership. And I go, okay, what is it? Well, for $99 per month, first of all, you will have access to the Iron Condors class, but you also have access to everything, okay, that we've ever done during the life of that membership. It's $99 per month. We are moving, okay, into what we would term almost Netflix. At Netflix, we don't, you know, Netflix doesn't charge you for a movie. Netflix charges you one subscription fee for everything that they have in terms, okay, of their what? Of their content. Well, here at Theotrade, we how, now have enough courses and enough material, okay, that it's not only viable, but it's reasonable that for $99 per month, you have access to over 70 classes. You have access to every archive that we've had, right? This is, okay, two and a half years of work that's been put into this. And you go, whoa, 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 what happens after a month? You can continue. You can continue after a month. People are going to ask that. And every single month, we're going to have new classes. We always have new classes coming out. It's not just like retroactive access. You have access to everything. In addition to the fact that you have access to all the classes that we've done, and I'm actually going to show you some of the classes here momentarily, okay? Again, new monthly classes. You also have access to a live trading chat room. We broadcast, okay, for a minimum of five hours per day. What does that mean? We're trading live in a chat room five hours a day, and you can join us. That's all part of $99 a month. So is all 70 classes. So is every indicator that we have. Right now, there's 57 proprietary indicators and scans. We also email trade ideas. Nothing costs more. It's 99 bucks a month. And daily coaching sessions. We have daily coaching sessions. You're like, I, I need some coaching. I need some extra help. Okay. And the instructors directly answer your trading questions via email. We're trying to change okay, the education industry. This is just the beginning of doing just that. So I am actually going to show you a couple of aspects. Okay, first of all, about Theotrade, where you are right now. I just opened up the screen here. Okay, this happens to be the Theotrade site. Now, before I go any further into this, before I go any further into this, just take a quick glance, theotrade.com forward slash all. 
it's 99 bucks a month. And, okay? When do you want to sign up? You want to sign up now. You have access. Start streaming the classes tonight. Pick a class, any class. What does the class archives look like? Well, we have a home. We have a start here. What's start here? Come on, you might be new, right? We have tutorials of how to use the Thinkorswim platform, okay? But where we're at right now is the most beneficial. We're in what we call our class archive, okay? And the classes archive, this is where all the different courses are found. And this is completely new and improved class archive. It's designed for this presentation tonight. You know, again, people have spent, people that are listening tonight have spent tens of thousands of dollars on getting education. There is nothing that is going to be comparable to what we're doing at $99 a month. There's nothing in the industry. Nobody has the depth. We have six full-time instructors working on this stuff, okay? Nobody will ever be able to keep up. For example, options newbie classes. Click on it. You're like, oh, I'm brand new to options. Like I could really use some help, right? You new to options? Great. Join the introductory options series. Options 101, options 201, okay? Where? Options 301. Guide to order execution, options 401. Okay, what does options 101 even look like? Oh, this is a five part series, 239 minutes. That's just, and by the way, here, you can download the slide deck right there. You have access, again, to everything that we do. You have access to the life of, you know, however many months you want to go through. I know somebody would never be like, well, after, you know, six months, uh, what do you think? Well, you know what? After six months, we're always going to be having new classes. Okay. It's just like, you know, Netflix, you know, you're like, Ooh, house of cards didn't end that well, but, uh, Hey, guess what? There's some new shows out there. You see what we have. You're going to tell me like, oh, I'm going to cancel my Netflix subscription. I'm going to need the time to stream some of the classes. People are totally going to veg out on this. We have intraday classes for day traders. You want day trading classes? We got them. Stocks, options, and futures, it's covered in there. Stock classes, you just want to trade stock. Good. We have a stock specialist here. Paris trading, mindset. Mindset, huge. Trading plan, huge. Then we get into, if you want option strategy classes, you know, the class that's coming this Saturday happens to be the Iron Condor. It does. It happens to be the Iron Condor. But we have classes on guide getting short. Okay, the risk twist spread, weekly options, butterflies, you name it. If you name a strategy, it's in here, all right? In out spreads, how to, you know, collect income being short. I'm telling you, if you name a topic, it's in here. The entire archive, you can also search through it. So we've actually got search criteria built in here. You guys will be absolutely in awe. Last thing I'll mention in here, and then I'm actually going to answer a couple of questions. We also have a live chat room. We broadcast for five hours per day. It streams right into here. You get to talk to us. You get to ask questions. All right. There are people like myself, including myself. In fact, tomorrow morning, I'll be streaming live for the first two hours tomorrow morning. Okay. I, I don't just sit around and like, uh, you know, the wait, wait for, you know, I trade. And when I trade, I stream those trades. I do intraday trades. I do monthly trades. I even put on trades like investments. Okay. You name it. We're covering it out there and we email out those trade ideas. So here is again, total Theo unlimited monthly streaming. It's, it's kind of what I would call. And, and again, I would call this, you know, in many aspects, it's all you can eat. And, and I think that that's a fair thing to, to kind of call it. It's when I say all you can eat, it's literally all you can eat, you know, trading you go out and for 99 bucks a month, look, you can stream options classes, stream, you know, newbie classes, technical analysis. By the way, our technical analysis, I apologize, that's probably one of our largest segments. Go Slim Miller and Doc Severson and Jeff Bierman and Corey, they're all market technicians. Right? That's one of our strongest points. And we have proprietary studies. All of those proprietary studies, the second that you hop in here, go download all the proprietary studies. It's totally fine with us. And it's, it's important that you know that, you know, there's, there's nothing behind the curtain over here, putting an end to all of that. Okay. So let's, um, let's kind of continue and on and answer a, uh, a, uh, a couple of, uh, questions in here. So the first question that 
that came up, and I, I want to hit this one right on. And, and by the way, the commissions, um, the commission deal, if you sign up for the membership, of course, it's commission deal um, for anybody. And we will, uh, we will, of course, you know, honor that. Even if you sign up for one month and you want the commission deal and you, you know, after, let's say, six months, you're no longer a member of Theotrade, it's okay. You know, they're not going to, like, retract the commission deal. First question comes from uh, Raju. It says, is this a membership for $99 a month? And can I cancel at any time? Yes. And yes, all we ask, it's a membership for $99 a month. And the moment you pay your $99, you have access to everything that we've done. And I, again, I want to, I want to elaborate on the, the very easy idea. When I say it's, you know, it's $99 a month and, and elaborate an idea, the idea I want to elaborate upon is that you really do have access to everything. The only thing that we ask is that when you cancel, okay, you have to give us three days notification, okay, because we're constantly in the midst of renewing. We have thousands of members already on Theotrade, but this is something completely unique, okay? And if even if you've been through a couple of classes, you have access to a lot of classes in here, doesn't matter. Nobody has had a price of $99 a month, and you get to go to each class every single month. You can get the trade ideas. You can get the new indicators that are coming out. It's all of it. And again, you just you're not going to beat that. People spend five hundred dollars a month on some some class, and you know then they they have to buy another indicator. And again, as I said, we want to disrupt financial education. We really want to put an end to that, and that's what you know introducing you know unlimited streaming monthly membership is about. So, next question uh, comes from a John. Can't make it live. Will the class be recorded? Of course, the class that's this Saturday absolutely is recorded. And it'll be available instantaneously. Like the second I'm done with it, it's available, you know, and it's, it's great. Okay. By the way, somebody said, if, if I, uh, if you were a Theotrade member earlier, can you come back in here? And as of right now, yeah, yeah, come on in. Okay. Um, and, and by the way, if you know, how much is it just for the class? 99 bucks, you know, so just go through it. Okay. Just go it's pay 99 bucks. We don't split hair. Somebody goes, I just want to go to the class. Cool. Pay 99 bucks, you go to the class. By the way, during the time you go to the class, you got a month to do whatever else you want on the site. Pretty cool, okay? I, I hope, Brian, that answers your question in there because that's, that's a good way to do it. Some people just like, oh, I don't like memberships. Okay, just remember, you don't, listen, you can be a member for a month. You've been a member for six months. You could be a member for six years. I'm not gonna be offended, okay? That's, that's what it's about. It's, you know, come as you are for $99, for 99 bucks a month, there are some people that are going to stream, okay, 200 hours a month. And then there's some people that are going to stream two hours a month. And I got to tell you, for both of you, it's going to be worth it. You got to realize, you know, you just can't, you can't get education anywhere. All right. And there are free education sites out there. Yeah. But they don't have criteria. They don't spend detailed time, three, four, five hour class. You know, we have one class in here from Slim Miller. Okay. It's over 20 hours in one course. It's like his life's work, right? It's unbelievable. So if you can't make the class live, get it. It's recorded. Um, uh, another question that came in was from an alley. She said, hey, you can't get your head wrapped around options, but I am able to follow the class. Yeah. So now you got to learn, you know, realize that the class that we're going to be doing comes up on Saturday, but if you can't necessarily wrap your head around, again, around this particular class, don't worry, you got the options like 101 in there. And it's important that you know, like you can come in here at any time and, you know, uh, okay, it's $99. And so you listen to the, all the options 101 and the options 201 and you kind of go through. And if you have questions along the way, like, please don't hesitate to email us. Like just because you pay 99 bucks a month, you kind of think like, am I going to get crappy service? No, you're going to get the same service that, you know, you would expect from Theo Trade, And that is we answer emails. We answer trade related emails. Okay. We don't hide behind anything. Now I have to call the stuff trade ideas, but people say specifically like, you know, Hey, is this trade set up? You know, is this thing going to work for me? And don't be offended, but I may say this is the worst idea I've ever seen. You know, get, get that thing out of here. But that's what you need if you want to be successful in this industry. And this is what we care about. We care about, you know, your trading and your education. And to prove it to you, it's 99 bucks for, for everything that we do out there. Um, 
Ah, another question that came up was uh, an Alan and uh, an Alan. Alan said, uh, I don't have that much time to trade. Uh, I work full time. Can you do this? Of course. In fact, when we email out trades, the types of trades that we email out, we're very selective in emailing out trades. When we email out a trade, those are the trades that are easier, gentler, kinder to put on for the people that uh, obviously work for a living. Another question came in. Uh, can I do this in my IRA? Yes, you can do this in an IRA. Okay. Another question that popped in over here. I can't get approved for options because I'm totally new. We can help you get approved for options. That's never going to be a problem. Okay. The only thing you have to have, you have to have $2,000 minimum in the account to be approved. Okay. For options. And that, that's not a brokerage firm regulation. It's actually a, uh, it's a regulatory requirement. Okay. And by the way, is it only $99 today? Yes. It's only $99 today. That's it. Okay. That's it. And you, and you, please check us out for 99 bucks. You're like, is there a trial? Yeah. It's 99 bucks. I, that's the next question that's going to come in here. Is there a trial run? Yes. It's $99. And after a month, if you know, you're going to see when you start going through the archives, okay. Proofs in the pudding, like the proofs in the pudding, like put us through the test. Okay. Um, Canadian accounts, we can help absolutely can help with Canadian accounts. I can give you ideas for reduced rates in Canada. Listen, Canada, it's a challenge. Okay. It is absolutely a challenge over there uh, in Canada. So uh, recognize that. So uh, again, somebody says is this, you know, in Theo trade, you know, you've, you've checked out some of the classes. You really like it. Okay. To continue from this point forward, it's, it'll just be $99 a month. Um, oh, awesome question that came in. Are there bond futures classes? Heck yeah, man. Uh, the classes, it's actually coaching sessions and York, the bond classes, I'm a bond super geek. So you email me, um, just say, Hey, Don, where's the bond classes? I got your back on that one. I'll actually, I, uh, I talk about bonds extensively on a day to day basis. Bonds are driving the order flow out there these days. It's, um, it's important. So, um, by the way, you know, Gary, 99 bucks. <laughs> That's it. Okay. It's 99 bucks. I think I got most of this, you know, answered again. What's, what's the most important points that I want to make again, go to theotrade.com forward slash all. You can also email us literally. If you have questions, you can also click right here and you can start a chat with us. We're, we're there to answer questions. Um, our phone number is 800-256-8876. And, you know, listen, if I sound a little bit excited about this, I am. And I'll tell you why I'm a little bit excited about this. And I'll leave you with this thought. Okay. This is what we always had in mind. We always had in mind trying to be the, the, you know, we have enough classes, enough instructors here. Okay. That there's nobody in this industry in terms of education that number one will rival us. Nobody will actually be able to give you this detail of criteria. You know, we have a couple of us that have actually worked at the largest brokerage firm on the street that have insights that other firms just can't possibly have. Not to mention, we have market makers that have been around this business for 43 years working with us. And that's the kind of, of quality of instructor that we bring on here at Theotrade. Uh, literally, at any price, you wouldn't be able to match what we're doing, and yet we're doing it for 99 bucks a month right now, unlimited access. With that, I want to thank everybody for joining us tonight. And uh, I hope you uh, hope you do enjoy it. And I hope to see you not only uh, not only in the class this Saturday. And again, the class is live this Saturday. Okay, but I also feel free to come into the chat room first thing in the morning. You can come into the chat room the first thing in the morning and say, "Hey, okay, I'm brand new over here. Let's uh, let's let's talk." And we're cool with that. I mean, you can come into the chat room in the morning and just say, "Hey, I'm brand new," and you'll figure your way out. We got a couple of demonstrations how to use it. With that, thank you guys very much for joining us this night and uh, have a great evening. Bye-bye.